So SwiftKey has gotten better for a lot of users. I know some users, not so much. Hi and welcome. If you're new here, welcome. I hope we can earn your subscription with this video. So what has happened? Microsoft has integrated Bing AI into SwiftKey, and they did this in a beta a couple of weeks ago. And now they have released it into the normal uh, non-beta version. This is also available on iOS. So the good thing is that you have these features now embedded into the keyboard. So it'll make it easier for you to access Bing while you're in an application, not have to switch away to another application. Use it for one of the three functions that it has available, the tone, the chat, or the search, and then take your results and put them into, say, a Facebook post that you're working on. Right there, easy to access in your toolbar. The bad part of it is that some people don't want it. On iOS, you cannot hide it. So at least on Android, it's in the toolbar and the toolbar can be hidden and revealed. I have a video on that. I'll link it in the description just in case some of you haven't seen it. On iOS, there is no such ability. It's there and some people don't want it. Let me explain the three functions. I'm going to show them to you now and then we'll come back and talk about them. See you on the backside. The search function, you can quickly do a Bing search in the keyboard. My buddy Gary and I are doing some fishing and we're planning another trout fishing adventure. And I just recently obtained a Tinkara rod so that I can start doing Tinkara fishing. So I'm going to send him a link to the rod that I have. So let me show you how this would work. I am in Facebook Messenger and this is our communications. I'll start the message by telling him this is what I have, and then I'll post the link to what I have. Select Bing. I will search for Dragontail Mizuchi ZX340 Zoom. A few moments later. So here's a link. There are other links. I'm going to select this one, touch it, insert it into the message. I'll show you a few of the other results. Scroll quickly. Yeah, I'm satisfied with what I selected. So let's send a message. The second use is it's called tone and tone is a piece of what comes from the discover sidebar that you'll have in Microsoft edge on the desktop. And there, there is a function called compose compose. You give some information. You select a tone, and the tone can range from professional to social posts. You can choose that tone of how you want your post to come off. So I'll just give you an example here by creating a Twitter post. So the first thing I need to do is to add the tweet. Now I need to bring up Bing, so I'll touch the Bing icon in the toolbar, choose tone, and now I'll just type in a few key things about the tweet. There we go. Let's see what it gives us. It will vary. What seemed like an eternity later. Here's some results. You can see the different tones. I'm going over here to social post. Well, not the best, but it's pretty good. I think I'll use it. So I'm going to accept it. It did not give me any hashtags or mentions. So I'm going to make some adjustments in the tweet for that. Now I'll change the Bing to Bing. AI hashtag in front of it, and I'll mention SwiftKey by putting the at sign in front of the SwiftKey, and we're done. The chat function is the same as if you were in Microsoft Edge and choose Bing. It takes you right into chat, you're in the Bing app, or you're in the Start app. Now we'll do one more thing using chat with tweets. I'm going to create my tweet, choose Bing, go over here and choose chat. And then I'll choose the creative mode and give it some information about a tweet. So I'm going to ask it to create a tweet about Swift key and Bing AI integration in version 9.10.10.5 that will get attention. And now that we've given our parameters, let's send it off and see what it gives us.
a few moments later. So you can see the results. I have three to choose from. So what I think I'll do is I'll select the center one. I'm going to highlight it and copy it to take it over to my uh, post. Okay, so I'm going to copy the selected text and then close this window and come over here and paste it into my tweet. Okay, so I still want to clean this post up just a little bit. I want to put the hashtag in and the mention to Swift key. Then I'll be uh, good to go. Yes, I can do more with the creative and I could have actually prompted it to include mentions and hashtags, but that's how you use chat. Okay. Hopefully you found that helpful. I'm going to maybe do some more videos to actually show some real world use of these features. I do believe it will shorten your amount of time involved in creating certain things. You don't have to switch away to an app, get the information, come back and then paste it in. You just stay right there within your current app. There we go. That's it. Thanks for watching.